well, some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers. Well, here he defeated Satan. Again, he gave us victory over sin and death. And that sin and death is what has held us captive. And if we go back to Matthew 28, and in Matthew chapter 28, <coughs> pardon? And in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn before the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. Now, again, we're going to take, uh, you're going to take a look at two things here, two different accounts of this. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came down and rolled back the stone from the doors and set upon it. And his countenance was like lightning, and his wind was as snow. And the fear of him, the keepers, did shake and became as dead men. Well, now here's the interesting thing. First of all, he rolled away the stone to show that the, the tomb was empty. Now the question was, was this angel Christophan? Uh, was he in the form of the angel of the Lord announcing uh, Christ the risen Savior? Remember, the Lord Jesus announced his own birth. It was a Christophany. And guess what? His appearance was like lightning, white as snow. So was this. Well, some will say, well, it couldn't have been. Or let's read on. But really, for the fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, for I know that you seek Jesus which was crucified. Now they're referring to the Lord Jesus in the form that he took as a human who was crucified. But the Lord Jesus was omnipresent. And he came, even as he came as a baby. And even as he came as a suffering, as the Lamb of God, and also the conquering king, the Messiah. But now he says this in verse 6. He is not here, for he is risen, as said, come see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall you see him, lo, I have told you. And he departed quickly from the sepulchre and fear with great joy and did a run uh, to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell the disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail, and they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto him, Be not afraid. Go and tell my brother that they go into Galilee, and they shall see him. Now when they were going, behold, some of them which had come to the city showed unto the chief priests all the things that were done. And when they were assembled, which the elders had taken counsel, they gave them large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say ye, his disciples came by night and <coughs> stole him away while we slept. And if this come to the governor's ears, we will persuade him to secure you. So they took the money and did as they were taught, and thus saying, commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain, where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go you therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Well, now, here, you say, well, now, see, you just answered your own questions. You said that angel said that Jesus wasn't there. Really. I want you to go over to John chapter 20. In John chapter 20, verses 11 through 17. But Mary stood without at the sepulchre, weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the sepulchre. And see two angels in white, sitting the one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had laid. And they say unto her, 
Woman, why weepest thou? She said unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. And when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing, and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said unto him, Sir, if thou hast borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. And Jesus said unto her, Mary. She turned herself and said unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. Jesus saith unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, As I ascended unto my father and your father, and to my God, and to your God. And Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken these things unto her. Now you say, well, wait a minute. It seems like we have two totally different accounts of this. But that's not the case at all. People people saw one part of it. They didn't see the other. See, you see, other people that were there, they didn't look inside the tomb to see those other two angels there. Others... Who, when we talk about uh, uh, Christophany up here, they may not have seen Jesus. She didn't recognize Jesus. He didn't make it, and, and that happened quite often in those days. Only the people he wanted to see could see. Him. So, what you're saying is, is all of these different accounts of Scripture, remember. What we're talking about, this is all supernatural. Well, going to the to the bribery of the soldiers. Folks, listen, it was automatic for any any soldier, any guard to fall asleep on guard duty was automatic death. And it wasn't a pleasant death. It was not a pleasant death that they died. What they would do to those Roman soldiers is they would take every bit of clothes they have, wrap them in their own clothes, soak them in oil, and set them on fire. That's how they died. And usually what would happen if, if uh, you had some, they would have to pick one of them that would have to pay the price if there were several of them that, say, fell asleep on guard duty. It was a, so what happened here? Well, first of all, the last thing the pilot needed was another scandal. And so what happened? Well, these corrupted rabbis, more than likely, went to him and said, look, just you know, uh, let the guards, because these guards, believe me, they're not going to say that unless they've got assurance that they're not going to, to end up with a death penalty. Okay. And they, they lied. And that lie is being told to this very day. It's being told. Well, then the eleven disciples went away to Galilee to a mount where Jesus had appointed them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but some doubted. You know, Thomas is still doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me, in heaven and earth. Go you therefore and teach all nations just the things you can do in the comfort zone. Nah. You see, that's that's basically what you're being taught today. In most of these things. You know, I, I, what I have to show you the compromise that's being done. Here. This is the state Iowa state legislator. They're going to have their very first wicked witch open their State legislator of prayer. Okay, a wicked witch. No. Also, we're seeing today, for example, what they're doing with them, they're making, they're writing Bibles now that are Muslim friendly. And let me just read you a little bit here. Uh, for example, the verse which, which Christians use to justify going all over the world to make disciples, that's fulfilling the Great Commission, which we're reading right here. They change it. Here's what, what the, the way that they've changed this new Bible. And uh, it says this. Cleanse them by water in the name of Allah, His Messiah and His Holy Spirit, instead of baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it's just unbelievable what is, is taking place. But these are these are by uh, known 
in the past they had credible Bible uh, publishers to publish the Bible. And in fact, uh, this is by, let me see, well, Wycliffe, by the Wycliffe Bible. And so he said, go out and, and to all nations, teach them the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to, to observe all things, all things, whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world, meaning the end of ever. So, we've been coming to you from doers of the Word Baptist Church. 14781 Sperry Road in Newberry, Ohio. Our zip code is 44065. You've been listening to us this morning on the Liberty Works Radio Network. It's 104.3 FM. The Eagle in Tampa and Ocala. Again, that's the Liberty Works Radio Network. And until next week, we want to say good morning. God bless. And remember, always, always, and happy Resurrection Sunday. Always keep fighting the fight.
table to remember you need to be saved for one thing and baptized by immersion. Most important thing, knowing to confess sin. That's very, very important. I can't tell you how important. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I just want to come before you, Lord, and ask for everybody here that there be none here without unconfessed sin. And we thank you, Lord, for the substitutionary death you hung in our place upon that cross. And there's no way, no way that we could ever in any way even begin to repay you for such a gift. As I received of the Lord, which also I delivered to you, the Lord Jesus, in the same night, was betrayed, took bread. 